Hello and welcome to today's English lesson. My name is Stuart. In today's lesson, we're looking at how we use big and great in English and the differences between the two. Let's go to the intro. Now, today's lesson, big or great. Now, for some learners, this is difficult because they have second language confusion between these two. And English, of course, we try to distinguish between the two, between big and great. Sometimes the meanings are similar, but sometimes they are different. So we need to more or less understand when we can use one, when we can use the other, or when we can use both with the same meaning. So, for example, big, number one, big. Uh, large in size, important, elder, successful, grown up, or it can mean a lot. So, for example, Jenny has big blue eyes. So her eyes, the size, are big. She has big blue eyes, big blue eyes. Simon has just got a big promotion, a big promotion important. A big promotion, okay? So he's got a big promotion at work. He's gone from one level to the next level. Important promotion or a big promotion. The next one is Ed is Sarah's big brother, meaning here elder, okay? Ed is the elder of the two, okay? So Ed is Sarah's big brother, okay? Big brother, the elder of the two. Reggaeton is big in Latin America. Big in Latin America, meaning that it's successful or a lot of people follow it or it's very popular, meaning that it's big, popular, okay? Reggaeton is big in Latin America. Next one, look how big Tammy is now meaning growing up. So the last time I saw Tammy, she was uh, this tall. Well, sorry, this tall. Now she's this tall. So uh, look how big Tammy is now, meaning growing up. And my father is a big drinker and smoker. He's a big drinker and smoker. He likes to drink a lot and he likes to smoke a lot. So a lot. He's a big drinker and a big smoker as well, okay? So a big drinker, big smoker. You could also say someone is a big gambler, somebody is a big football fan, for example. We could use that as well. Now, the next one here is with great, and great means large in amount, large in size or degree. It can mean famous, it can mean important, and it can mean very good. So, he went to a great deal of trouble to be here today. He went to a great deal of trouble to be here today. It wasn't easy for him to be here, so he went to a great amount or a great deal of trouble to be here today. Second one, there's a great hole in the wall. Great hole in the wall meaning big. There's a big hole in the wall. There's a great hole in the wall. Now, a lot of the times in English we'll say there's a great big hole in the wall, okay? There's a great big hole in the wall. So we'll put big here in order to tell us that it's big. But if you say there's a great hole in the wall, we understand that it means that it's big. The next one. It was one of the greatest storms ever to hit the city, one of the greatest storms. We haven't had a storm that big or that destructive, maybe, uh, in the city for a long time. It was a great storm, okay? It hit the city, its impact was huge, a great storm. Churchill, Winston Churchill, was one of the great leaders. Here, great meaning uh, important. Uh, it could also mean famous as well if you wanted to put it into that context. 
But here we would say that he was one of the great leaders, one of the uh, important leaders. We could say uh, Pelé was one of the greats, one of the great football players, one of the great soccer players, Pelé, okay? Similar type of context. He was one of the great leaders, if you uh, think that Churchill was a great leader. What's the greatest invention of the 20th century? The greatest invention of the 20th century, okay? The greatest in uh, invention of the 20th century? I don't know. Maybe you could leave a comment below and tell me what you think the greatest invention of the 20th century was. Next one here, you look great. Did you do something to your hair? You're giving somebody a compliment, okay? Telling them that they look good. Did you do something to your hair? You look great today, you look great, okay? You did something to your hair. And the last one, how's the project coming along? And you reply, great, meaning very good. Great, the project is coming along great. So how's the project coming along? Great. So those are the ways that we use big and great in English. Now thank you very much for watching the lesson. Any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. Remember to share the video on social media, Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Pinterest, share it up on social media. I'll see you in the next lesson. Have a good day. Bye.